how would you describe black metal versus death metal? Uh, the message, of course. And and but I mean lyrically, uh, black metal is like quite far away from death metal. Musically too, is more. Uh, more, you know, it has all these epic things to it. A lot of death metal is really more, uh, can I say, contemporary, yeah. whereas black metal has kind of, you know, this very ancient, more melancholic influence. I noticed that there are some American, uh, like Christian metal bands, that are copying some of the Scandinavian sounds. What are your thoughts on things like that? I mean, you have that in all things, like you have holy riders for bikers, you know. I, I don't really mind, it's just, yeah, I, I think it's funny. It's like satanic gospel music, you know, it's kind of a paradox in there. Like black metal being, you know, Christian black metal, that's just, I mean, that's just stupid, you know. I mean, if people want to play like Christian, you know, extreme music, then, I mean, I don't care about that, but to call it like Christian black metal, I mean, that's just, you know, it doesn't make any sense. Back in the day when there were burnings and such, yeah. what were your initial reactions? The scene was so small. Mm -hmm. It's like Fender said once, like it's like 15, 20 people at max that did this thing in Norway. Really? It, that, that was the black man scene. Oh. And from then on, yeah. and when the first church burned, you know, and, and the media made a huge hype out of that, it definitely made a big impact. Oh, yeah. You know, everybody knew that, okay, it's going to be churches burning, but it was just like mm. a kind of a rebellion thing, you know, against the Christian society in Norway. Right. So, I mean, there was nothing more to it, more than the, the media created the whole thing, as I said. It's like, you know, if it wasn't for the media, uh, it would probably, the whole black policy would probably never be this big. How would you describe the uh, ideology of early black metal in Norway? I mean, I think it's different from person to person, even. Yeah. It's uh, it's all built on what people, you know, like to call Satanism. Right. And that, uh, from my perspective, that is kind of the opposite of religion. So, you know, Satanism as a collective philosophy is in itself a paradox. Mm -hmm. You know, because it's uh, it's all about not following. You know, a rule book to know how to behave. It's kind of building a personal set of morals and values from yourself and live by that. I think there's a lot of people that actually aren't like Satanists, but they're more like anti religion and yeah. anti Christian. You know, so I think a lot of the so called black metal people that call themselves, you know, Satanists are just like anti religious. Uh, so, you know, and and he probably pretty much said what you know it's about what you set the terms and rules for your life you know and then just like follow the the, the christian society because that i mean that's just stupid Agreed. Uh, and he, even though it may be you know of course when when you're young like i when i was 16 i was reading all this stuff you know, satanic bible you know blah 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 the whole thing you know it got me where i am because you can't really expect anyone to know it all at 16, mm -hmm. you know, and I'm very happy that I, you know, if I stopped at 16, that would be rather sad. So, yeah. what can you do? It is what it is. Yeah. Okay, what message do you have for the fans? I want to say thank you very much and hope you continue to enjoy what we do, both in Embro and, and separately. Mister? Yeah, it's the same. Just being thankful to for all the people that came to the show. I mean, it's amazing that people, you know, come from everywhere and uh, and uh, yeah we're just happy to be here we're happy to have you here Thank and you. we look forward to Zyphon I guess we'll make more later this year and don't forget if it's too loud too heavy then maybe you're already dead